Hello everyone, welcome back to another video with Arduino. I still can't believe it's been over a year and I'm so thankful for all the support. I still remember around this time is when I got my first um, really popular video. So what we're working with today is the tilt ball switch. And for this project, if you tilt it, the Arduino can sense it. And when it's not tilted, it stops buzzing. So now let's get into the wiring diagram and the code. All right, so for this project, you can see we're dealing with the tilt ball switch. And when we tilt, the buzzer comes on and that's just some simple buzzer logic but when we keep it down stationary like this there is no buzzing noise so what we um have here we have the buzzer we went over this um kind of in the previous video but what we want to really focus on is the tilt ball switch let me unplug the arduino um just to get rid of the buzzing noise for now so what we have here is the tilt ball switch and essentially let me see let me see if you can hear it well, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a little rattling sound, and that's because there is, and indeed, a ball in here. And so when you tilt it, you can hear the ball move around. So what we have here in the stationary position, we have a, the ball completes a circuit when it comes in contact with this end, but when we tilt it or remove it from its stationary position, the Arduino can detect that as being turned around or not in its initial upright state. So that's what we take advantage of, um, and I'm going to point that out in the code. But essentially, with the ball here, we have the ball in this up uh, at this point, and the Arduino can detect it because of this um, circuit, because it completes the circuit. But if I turn it upside down or remove it from its upright position, then the Arduino can detect that and respond accordingly, especially by sounding the buzzer. Okay, so here's the wiring diagram we have here. We have the buzzer, we have a resi we have the resistors. Here are a few wires. Um, we have the ground connected to this blue railing with each of the wires at, uh, connected to the blue railing connecting to a specific module. Um, what we have here on the left is the tilt ball switch. And essentially um, one I guess recommendation I would have is to make sure that the connection from the breadboard all the way to the circuit board, like these wires, one, two, three, are all flexible so that you can move this Arduino around and essentially allow it to um, tilt or be upside down. So now let's get into the code. Okay, so now let's take a look at the code. Um, we have here, I'll display an image on screen, but we have our two initialization statements. Um, I'll display an image, but essentially the buzzer is connected to pin 12 and the sensor or the tilt ball switch is connected to pin 13. And that's important when referencing the information, um, we're getting it from a specific device. Um, we, we have a few variables here. We want to set everything up to accept input and our buzzer to be output. And we want to create serial communication so that we can use the serial monitor to track the data and information. Okay. So now we get down here, this is the sensor value. Um, this will be detected from the sensor pin, which if you come up here, the sensor pin is actually connected to 13, which is the tilt ball switch. And like I was uh, telling you before, um, the tilt ball switch essentially works in the sense that um, if it's upright, it'll assign a value to it. And if it's not upright, if it's tilted, if it's upside down, that will receive a different value. So when it's upside down, um, that receives a value of one. So we're, so when we take the sensor value, we're reading the value from the tilt ball switch in order to um, respond accordingly. So when it has a one, that would mean it's upside down. So that's where we get into this if statement. So if it's upside down, we want the buzzer to um, make a sound because you want to make sure that the device is upright and um, sitting properly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, have the buzzer make a sound if the value is one, which means that it's upside down. So if we were to simplify this, if it's upside down, make the buzzer sound. And if the buzzer, if the, um, if the tilt ball switch does not detect it to be upside down, then it would be a zero. So if it's upright, the value will be zero. So in that case, you want to make sure that the buzzer is not um, on just so um, there's no issue since it's upright and sitting properly. We want to print these sensor values. Um, you can have it one before and um, after. Um, I would recommend you just to have one afterwards. 
and then we want to delay 500 milliseconds. Okay, so what we have here, um, you're going to see also the um, serial monitor on screen. So you're going to see right now that it's all zeros because um, we want the buzzer to sound only when there's a value of one. So what we have here, we're going to take it and we're going to tilt it. So you should see now that there's values of one displaying on screen and you can see obviously that the buzzer is um, sounding. So let's return it to its initial state. You should see zero and now the buzzer is off. All right, so that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm gonna try to post um, more consistently since I have break um, and maybe you can expect a video tomorrow or the next day after that. But um, for now, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed today's project. Um, maybe they can be used for, I guess, the holiday um, in any ways. But with that, um, thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and like and subscribe if you did. See you in the next video.